Hey Mac users, today in this video, I'm going to demonstrate on how to transfer data from one MacBook to the next one. So for the sake of this demonstration, I have Apple MacBook M3 and M1. I'll be using Dix sharing mode on how to transfer data from my M3 laptop to the M1. Only the tool unit is one Thunderbolt USB-C cable. And of course, you need two MacBooks for this tool to work. One must be a good working MacBook. And this is where a lot of people make mistake. Be sure to use Thunderbolt USB-C cable, not regular USB-C cable. Because if you use regular USB-C cable, it's not gonna work. Hey Tech Drive, my name is Gopal and welcome to my channel, Go Tech Talk. Here in my channel, I create content related to information technology that you use in your day-to-day -day life. I do my best to boot you up with trending technology, troubleshooting hacks, and practical tips and tricks. Dick's sharing tool comes handy when your computer doesn't boot up and you wanted to retrieve data off of it. In a MacBook with M-series chip, it is called Dick's sharing, but if you have MacBook with Intel based chip, it's called Target Disk. Connect Thunderbolt USB C cable to one of the USB C port on your MacBook. Then connect the same USB C cable to the USB C port on the another MacBook. Turn off the broken MacBook, then press on the power button until you see the startup options. Once you see the startup options, click on Options. By default, for security reason, your volume is encrypted. To decrypt it, click on the volume and hit Unlock. It will prompt you for user ID and the password, and then hit Unlock. Once you unlock the disk or volume, Click on Start Sharing. So on the good working laptop, go to your finder and then look for Network. And hit Enter. There you go. You'll see the laptop you connected via USB-C cord right here. Click on the computer icon. Click on Macintosh SD. Click on Users. So once you click on users, you will see all your documents, files, and folders, everything there. Then you can copy paste to the new laptop. This MacBook Dix sharing tool comes handy if your computer doesn't boot up all the way or somehow your operating system got corrupted. All right, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give like to this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next.